So to create the iPad interface, we first need to download the Environexis app from the iTunes App Store. And once we've done that, we're good to go. So I'm going to open up the app here. So we can see the list of icons appear. And we can put any of the controls in any of these icons. So first we're just going to go into settings, just to ensure that we are connected to the bridge. So select Environexis Bridges. So we can see here the EN36250146, that's the serial number of the bridge and we can see the green connected. So it's all good. If we want to enable remote access, you can see remote access username and password here. So you just need to enter, enter the credentials for the bridge in those fields. So if I select back and go back to the main menu. So I'm going to select the energy icon here. So this is where I'm going to add in the controls for the smart plug. So here we get the main page and at the bottom we can see the list of tabs for control. So we've got tab one for example. So if I want to add a control in here, I'm going to select edit up in the top right hand corner. And then it's going to be add a control. So it's the green plus button. So it's going to be an Nexus control, which is highlighted, and then I select the next Nexus controls. So here we decide what kind of device we're going to control. So it's just going to be a switch and appliance on or off. So hit select. And here we decide on what type of button we want the control to look like. So we have the option of on off with the power reading, which can be in kilowatt hours or in watts or there's three options for on and off without a reading. So I'm going to select this one with the watts. So select add control. So we're just going to tap where we want that to be placed on the screen. So I'm going to just pop that one there. So the green square just outlines the resolution of an iPhone. Obviously the iPad being bigger, you get more space. So now what I want to do is assign that button to a device. So select edit, select the Wi-Fi button, select the button I want to assign a device to, and click assign. Here it comes up with the list of devices. So I'm looking for the smart plug, smart plug one, select back, back, and now we've got control of that device.